Right now, the government and the regulator, the Reserve Bank of India, have no answers. But the questions keep piling up. It's utterly despicable to tell the depositors of PMC, sorry, your bank has been robbed. The question is, who's responsible for this robbery? We have a list. The blame must be shared by the government, the Reserve Bank of India, the fraudulent bankers and the auditors. Think of it. 11,800 crore rupees of deposits in total out of which 6,500 crore rupees were given to just one real estate company, Housing Development Infrastructure Limited, HDIL. That's 73%, 73% of the entire loan book to one customer. The company is bankrupt. This is daylight robbery and it happened under the watch of the Reserve Bank of India. This scam went on for 11 long years and the RBI had access to the transactions in the account books at least since February 2018. So what was the RBI doing? Why did the RBI not raise a red flag? The government meanwhile is blaming the previous government which is laughable. Since 2014, tackling the menace of bad loans has been the priority, priority number one in fact for this government. When the norms were tightened, why did the government not plug the holes in shadow banks and cooperative banks? This is a huge crisis. There is no clarity on the extent of bad loans in India and it's the common man who's bearing the brunt. This is an often repeated statement. To solve a problem, you need to recognize it first. The government must ensure that the deposits of people are paid back as soon as possible. But more importantly, this episode must not repeat again. One look at the structure of co uh, cooperative banks in India will tell you that it's faulty. The structure is faulty. The regulation is dodgy. Cooperative banks belonging to a state are regulated by the state. But cooperative banks belonging to more than one state are regulated by the center. And that is a loophole. The structure can be misused as we saw with the PMC bank. It's time to accept failures. It's time to ensure that such mistakes are not repeated. Banks are the bloodline of an economy. All banks, public sector banks, private banks, cooperative banks, all of them are significant. The fault lines in the banking framework must be addressed immediately.